Let us all pray silently, meditating on God's words. Almighty, other blessings. No, so thank you so, so much. A sinner like me, you gave me a path to find resolution to my problems. Thank you, Lord. Now I realize this, not resolving my problems, but I'm the one. Not only that, but resolving my problems, but helping save my children and myself and being a light in this country and helping save uh, the whole world that you gave us these precious works. Help us to, thank you, Lord, help us to be used as your righteous servants. Help us to be able to handle your incredible works. Help us to give glory to you, Lord God. Me and my descendants, and to 10,000 generations and 100,000 generations, let them receive blessings and, giving, and help us to be a blessed person that gives benefit to others. As a child of God, help us to have conviction of self salvation today, boldly. Help, let us find resolution to all of our problems. Help us to receive the promises of everything being fulfilled. And help us to be a witness in, uh, for you in all things. And thank you for giving us this precious time. In the name of Jesus, and thankfulness and blessings, I pray. Amen. Let's repeat after me. Sheep, a sheep, you receive all the blessings. And uh, of course, salvation as well. So let's be in comfort. In the small sanctuary, can you hear well? God's blessings, I have faith that will be upon you and be with you. So because of our problems these days, we say, oh, it's hard, to, life is hard. I can't stand this sometimes. You know, they, sometimes when things are so tough, we say, isn't it better, am I better off dead? But God, the problems, the problem, that's because of God's love, where we're wrong, when we are wrong off, He gives us punishment. That's why we're just receiving the punishment. That's the issue. But in Christ, help us to be a person that is wise. So your name is uh, Above money is is your name, your reputation, your recognition, and what's above that? It's gr uh, grace from God, receiving God's favor. So if you if you got a billion, seven hundred million to a billion dollars, people say, "Wow!" So then, you know, what are you going to do with that money? Then they're going to run for office they, so that they can leave a legacy of their name. But they want to live for their own to to make a better name for themselves. But God made it people that way. But if you make a name for yourself that way, you'll fall into ruins. If you use, it, if you're used for the purpose of fulfilling God's will, then your name will be left as a legacy. First John, chapter three, verse eleven. Wait, no, excuse me. First John, chapter two, verse seventeen, and earlier Ecclesiastes three, eleven. So people spend so much money to be educated, and then they run for office, and each one of them. So their descendants, and they, it's like if you want to really leave a bad name and shameful name for your family, you can run for office. How is it that people know like your the, the skeletons in your closet and they bring it all out and it goes down to the descendants. So after you run for office, the, the, all the bad things in the family comes out, gets revealed. So, so much to repent. People look that up. So who, who is that? You and me. It's that you and me. So today, our current reality is all ours. Why is it like that? Because we don't know that His love. When others do well, then you'll do even better. But people don't want others to do well. That kind of person, you know, runs for office. Things don't work out. They're what they're doing is inconsistent with the Word of God. People of Korea, you and I, the people, it's one thing, to, it's good that we forget, but we have, we have to forget things with through forced of repentance, so we forget the right things and remember the right things, but people don't seem to do that. But God, He wants to give us blessings even now. What did we look up? First John 2.17, let's read with one voice. 
The world is passing away and also its lust, but the one who does the will of God lives forever. The way for us to have our name lasting forever is the way to live with the Lord. Those who does the will of God, people, we have uh, people worry about money. We have to be rule over money, and we have to pray and repent about money. But what's above money is what Proverbs twenty-two verse one. It's uh, our name and recognition and fame. What's above uh, money is our legacy and recognition. Then you just have to get famous and reckon. What is above money is is fame and recognition. No matter how much you make money, it's below fame and recognition. And if you get money, you have to be ruled over it and say that's really not that you know that's not the main thing. But people they get all ex they get all wrapped up in that. Other, other countries that's one thing, but we're going to rule over that country. We have other countries. We have to help save the, their country. But that's one thing. But starting from us, according to the word of God, we have to stand upright before Him through the word of God. Before, do you want to have fame or? Uh, a bundle of money. People want fame. The person that goes, goes crazy, wow, about money. Just a thief. You know, they can't steal your reputation. They, they, they can steal your money. So, people think having so, money is so great. So, the pa presidents of the past, you know, they embezzle so much money. But the issue is their name got really put down and uh, in the dirt. So that's why people say that's unfortunate, the worldly things, it's all going to fall to the ground. But people say that, you know, fame and a person's legacy over over fame and recognition over, over money, God says all of that is lowly. God being with us is the most important. So people don't realize this. That's why you and I, we say we believe we're Christians. But then for some fame, we'll, we'll go here and there. And for some money, we we'll go here and there do all sorts of things. There's none that's an upright person. You and I, starting from me, when we can rule over it, we'll help save our family and our country. And we can help save our neighbors as well. So this world, um, Sodom and Gomorrah in the 66 books of the Bible, why did God record that? The sins of immorality, what is that? It's becoming poor, becoming a beggar. When you commit the sins of immorality, where does it say that you'll be poor? You'll be in poverty. Proverbs? What chapter, what verse? Chapter 6, why would chapter 6 come out here? When you commit the sins of immorality, in the past, the last week, Wednesday or Thursday, commit the sins of immorality. We learned that you become uh, impoverished. You become, you face poverty. So it's very frustrating and unfortunate when the, there's a problem. You don't have the key to solve that problem, but God says all the key is in the Bible. Isaiah 34, verse 16, all the keys are here in the Bible, God says. So from today on, let's go the path of receiving blessings. You and I, we came with unfortunate hearts. If you have came with sickness, you want to be healed of your sickness. Even right here, being healed of sickness, that can happen. That, you know, waiting until tomorrow, that's wrong. Even right now, when we meet God, we can, we have to end that. We can meet God and be healed. End the sickness. What did we look up? We read that, right? Wait, let's read Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 22, verse 1. A good name is to be more desired than great wealth. Favor is better than silver and gold. So those who say they're Christians, when you see them going to jail, they don't know the, what value is, what the right value is. They don't know what's the most precious thing. So they put a bad name to Jesus in many ways, to God in many ways. Romans 2, 23. Through you, we're giving a bad name to God, God is telling us. It's very unfortunate. So here today, the fact that we came here today, our own problems, all sorts of problems, regardless of what you brought, and thousands of problems that you brought, 
God wants us to do well. It's for our sake. We, through, it's through, for us. Second Corinthians 4.15, all those problems are for our sake. All things are for our sake, even all the problems. So what problem is it that you have right now? You have to have proper, accurate diagnosis of the problem. That is true. So we don't know our own place. We don't even know who we are. How can we have a proper diagnosis and create, make a diagnosis? That's the detestable ones. Those, you know, as Socrates would say, he said, know thyself. We don't even know ourselves. And, and they try to create, uh, or they try to solve the world's problems and, and the country problems. They can't even solve their own. Because how detestable is that? They can't even solve their own problems. They're, they're Luke 16.10. Excuse me, Luke 16, 10. In the small things, when you do uh, even the small things well, those are the ones that can do big things well. Those who cannot do even small things well, they cannot do big things well either. So each of you right now, the fact that you have a problem, why? Because you don't know which direction, north, east, south, or west, to go. So God makes us know all these things, that is having faith. It will happen according to your faith, God says. Why is it not happening according to your faith? Because your faith is knowledge, Hosea 4, 6. You have to have knowledge, that so it will happen according to your knowledge. So it will happen according to your faith, it's, it's, it's the same as it will happen according to your knowledge. You don't know, you don't have the knowledge. You thought you know, but you don't. God will make us, when we have faith, know all these things. We have to know. That's how we can rule over it and have dominion over it. Genesis 1.26, when He created us, we created us in God's image, in His image, to rule over all the things of the world. So you have a problem, you have a sickness that is upon you. God gave us to rule over it, but we're not able to rule over it. That's why we end up with a problem. So through God's words, if we know to rule over it, then change it so that we can rule over money and fame and recognition. Money and fame, those who have recognized, that, uh, those who can um, rule over that, they receive the favor from God. If you don't have money, something's not working out, you know, word, you're ignorant. That's why you don't know anything. That's why you're facing that. God wants us to have this knowledge and know Hosea 4, 6. You, don't, you follow to rules because you don't have knowledge. The person that knows, the person that has faith that to be that kind of person, that's why He gave that to us. That's 2 Corinthians 4.15. That's why He gave us all these problems. Let's read with one voice, 2 Corinthians 4.15. For all things are for your sakes, so that the grace which is spreading to more and more people may cause the giving of thanks to be abound to the glory of God. Amen. Today, all 10,000 items, no matter what problem it is, it's for our sake. God, He has made it so that it's for our sake. So you and I, the problem that we're, that's upon us, it came to help save us, not to kill us or destroy us, but to help save us, to help us do even better and better, so that we can rule over the things of the world. We all have to receive these blessings today. We have to receive these blessings today. We are here to receive these blessings. We have to receive these blessings, find resolution to our problems. In the small sanctuary, you have to surely receive these blessings. So, John 14, 6, God says, I am the way. Now, John 14, 6, let's look that up. So, I am the way, He said that. Then the, the way, the path is here. Th those who have not found the path, the whole people, they're wandering or they're having problems because they have not found the path or the way. It's unfortunate. The whole country can't find it. God created all the whole things in this world for our sake. And He said, I am the way. I'm the path, but yet we're not able to find that path. We're not able to find that path. So the people, they, they depart and leave. They go to other religions. Why is it that we have made it like that? Before God, are we not afraid of judgment before God? Let's live life. Uh, let's properly. Let's read the one voice, John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Amen. Yeah. Who's the one? Who said these words? Jesus, right? The, where's the way for us to meet Jesus? Outside of Christ, there's no other way. Without knowing Christ, John chapter 4, the woman uh, the, spoke with Jesus, her problems were not res resolved. Without Christ, it's, uh, you meet, it does, it's of no effect. God's mystery is realizing Christ. Today, as Jesus said, I'm the way. 
Today, he said in John chapter 4, that woman met with uh, and spoke with Jesus for a long time. Things didn't work out. Without Christ, Jesus has nothing to do with us without Christ. So here, he said, I'm the way. So in Korea, people in Republic of Korea could not find a way. They say, oh, don't do things politically. Don't do things economically. It doesn't work. Don't do things politically. It doesn't work. People say all sorts of things and uh, argue over it. So, but there's no way, there's no one that's rolling out a path and knows a path. But the Lord, He's telling us here today, Jesus is saying, I'm the way. He's telling us here. So Jesus said, I'm the way. So for miracles to happen to me, however, so next to Jesus, miracles don't happen. What has to happen for miracles to happen? Who? What does He give us? So what we have to receive, what God gives us. So when it changes into the Lord, when Jesus turns to changes to Lord, that's how we can have blessings, and that's what how. Second Corinthians four fifteen, because of you there has been problems that have arisen. So you and me, today, God, whether we have sickness, no matter what problem it is, our country has a problem. When we resolve our problems, then other people's problems can be resolved as well. Me and your and my problems are resolved. Our country's problems are resolved. It's God's promise to us. So if that's the case, starting from you, that it will work out and you can help save the country. That's God, what God wants. So starting from you, that it will work. And when you genuinely love your neighbors and you repent, that's God's command to us. First Peter one twenty two. So starting from me, it has to work out. We have to find resolution to our problems. So here today, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So without going through Jesus, me, uh, Jesus is saying, there's no one way you can go to the Father. So we have to meet Jesus. So no matter how much you try to meet Jesus, in John chapter 4, the whole chapter, she talked about the woman. She talked about how many husbands she's had, but it's of no use. Usually when it changes to the Lord, when Jesus changes to Lord to me, that's when wisdom and knowledge and answers come to me, answers to prayers. So that's why you look at the Bible, but it's, you don't know what it means when it's talking about Lord versus Jesus. You don't know what it means. So that's how you're looking at the Bible. So how are you going to receive blessings? So today you and me, I was, if we can call him Lord, then it would work. But calling him Lord, the fakes, they're not able to call him Lord. Why? So the fakes call once in a while uh, by happenstance that that's a lie. So when we call Jesus Lord, then I have to receive, have receive the Holy Spirit to call him Lord. First Corinthians 12, 3, let's look that up. If those who have not received the Holy Spirit call him Lord, that's 100% a lie. So therefore, so you have to receive the Holy Spirit. So let's read with one voice. Let us begin. First Corinthians 12, 3, Therefore I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God says Jesus is accursed, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Amen. The person that has received what cannot say uh, Jesus is Lord? So in a word, Matthew 12, 28, if you have those with demon inside, they they don't say, cry out, Lord. They don't say, Lord. So today, your sickness is not healed. Your problems are not resolved. Your personality is not not improved. You, can, you can't change your personality. You can't change your habit of being in drugs or alcohol or smoke, smoking. You can't quit that because you have demon inside. That's why you can't. Because by man's strength, you cannot win over demons. So, First John five five. Truth. We cannot cast out demons by our own strength. We cannot win over demons by our own strength. So, what's the demon that's inside of us? That you, you have to have the Holy Spirit. Matthew 12, 28. The Holy Spirit casts out demons. Let's look that up. So today, have healing of sickness, receiving answers through prayers. If you receive the Holy Spirit, it's all. it can all be accomplished when you receive the Holy Spirit without you even knowing. You call Jesus Lord. So when you look at the four books of the Gospel and the New, the New Testament, when it says, Lord, then you can see, realize, oh, that person has received the Holy Spirit. And then later, you receive, after that, you receive the news that you, they receive answers to prayers. So the whole Bible is like that. The people who don't know that, however, they don't know. Should we put Jesus here or Lord here? They don't realize that. That's why that, that's the fake sermon. They're sharing a sermon without even knowing that. That's why God, So be, when you kneel before Jesus, you have to cry out to Him, Lord, it's for you to give glory to Him. That's first Philippians two eleven. So 
the New Testament, all of the New Testament. If you don't know it, it, what you're trying to share a sermon, that's all fake without knowing the New Testament. So therefore, so today you and I, so God, so He has given us all the problems for my sake. So if we're not able to resolve this problem, then we'll fall into ruins and it'll be over. But God, as time passes, will He relent? No, He doesn't let it go. Let it go for us. No, God, He is. Because, who is eternal doesn't really let it go because of time we have to be changed we have to be changed into a upright person a human being an upright human being above money is um is uh, fame and above fame is god being with us god's favor we have to be changed to knowing that that's the most important something's not working out for you in fact why is it that you have sickness your problems are, uh, are not, problem, uh, financial issues are not resolved, your family issues are not resolved because of me. What about me? Because you're being dragged around by the demons. You're in the snare of the demons because of me, because of you. Matthew 12, 28. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God says, but, but if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. So, for the kingdom of God to come upon us, that incredible promise, we have to cast out the demons. To, for that to happen, the shamans, does it cast out demons? Is that right or wrong? So how can demons cast out demons? Only through the Holy Spirit you can cast out demons. So only through the Holy Spirit you cast out demons. So if you receive the Holy Spirit, then you would call Jesus as Lord, not me. But the Holy Spirit changes us like that. So therefore, each of you right now, in, in the Bible, is talking about Jesus and talking about Lord. Oh, they're gonna, that person is going to receive answers to prayers. That if they change to Lord, that means they have received the Holy Spirit. If you give a sermon without knowing that, that's a fake sermon. If you listen to it, that's a fake. You're fake as well. You have to and not know it, but you have to receive the Holy Spirit for you to cast out demons. And the Spirit of God, the Kingdom of God will be upon us. What kind of image is it when the kingdom of God is upon us? Romans 14, 17. The person that received the Holy Spirit in the Spirit, they become a righteous, they become righteous person. You have to continue to be a righteous person. Your heart is at peace. You have joy overflowing. That is uh, having the kingdom of God upon us. That's Romans 14, 17. It's recorded there. So am I always like that kind of person? Test ourselves. That's 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Test yourself whether you're like that or not. But we don't have that joy, we don't have that peace, and without even knowing that, we're not a righteous person, and we don't really go, we go around not knowing that. So now, demons in our heart, only through the Holy Spirit, we cast out the demons inside of us. So this Holy Spirit coming into our heart, that's... So you and I, the fact that we have a problem, the way we find resolution to that is through the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes inside of us and casts out the demons, and when the kingdom of God is upon us and makes the kingdom of God upon us, then God will be there. So that has to happen for us to have sickness, healing of sickness, prob problems resolved. Only to that person, that seven word bound, God gives them blessings. Why is the Holy Spirit not coming inside of us? The Holy Spirit coming inside of us. There's other tapes about that. Let's talk about the Holy Spirit now first. So that's, you have to cast out demons. So. Your personality that's demonic, so through the Holy Spirit, you become a person of God. It'll be changed. It's received. We'll all be transformed and changed. Your personality will be transformed and changed. Oh, Lord, thank you. Oh, Lord, thank you. So even though you came here, you came listening to demons when you go. You have demon inside, but when you go, you'll be changed to having the Holy Spirit inside of you. So... The sickness, like in Luke 4.35, when the demons all depart, it takes the sickness with it and departs. Luke 4.35, the problems with sickness and disease, that as the demon departs, it takes it away, and poverty takes it away as well. It's all departed. So what we have to receive is good health, and we become changed to, to be more... Uh, the personality that God gives us, we can rule over things of the world. So above money is fame and recognition, above... Fame and recognition is God being with us, God's favor. So then we have the dealings of a person that has, uh, where God is with us. We're not so focused and petty about money and arguing over that and so forth. You know, why is it that you have problems? Your personality hasn't changed. You're being dragged around with the demons in the snare of the demons. The Holy Spirit has to come inside of our, in our, to our hearts. Why is it not come inside of our hearts? So now, so this Holy Spirit, where does He give it to? Second Corinthians chapter one, verse twenty-two. Let's look that up. 
2 Corinthians 1.22, then you and I, if you came with problems, so you have with problems, through the Holy Spirit we have to resolve that problem. So this Holy Spirit, the fact that the Holy Spirit has come, the Holy Spirit's not always with me, inside me. Matthew 12.28, when you look there, it talks about casting out the, the, the demons with the Holy Spirit. In verse 44, 45 there, already the Holy Spirit has departed and the eight demons have come in. It's recorded there. So when does the Holy Spirit depart from us? When? So you and I, the Holy Spirit that gives to us as a gift, that He gave to us as a gift, when does the Holy Spirit depart from us? These two things, if it's not right, then it departs right away. So 2 Corinthians 1, 22, 2 Corinthians 1, 22, who also sealed us and gave us the Spirit in our hearts as a pledge. Amen. So when you receive the Holy Spirit, then you have received uh, as a pledge. Who, who, pledge, who gives that to, in our heart as a pledge? It will happen. God does. It will happen according to your wishes when that happens. Where does He give the Holy Spirit to? He gives it to our heart, into our heart. Surely it says it gives it into our heart. And as a pledge, it gives it, the Holy Spirit into our heart. First Corinthians 3.16. Let's look that up. First Corinthians 3.16. First Corinthians 3.16. You and I, why is it that we're not able to receive the Holy Spirit? So he gives it as a pledge into our heart, in our heart. What comes out 24 hours from our heart? So 24 hours, the sins come forth and you don't repent 24 hours, but sins come out 24 hours and you expect the Holy Spirit to be there. So that person is one who's denying the Holy Spirit. So that's why the sins coming out of our heart, we have to pray without ceasing or stopping. It's, that's what he commands us to do through forced step repentance. We don't want to do that through forced step repentance. Then how can receive the Holy? How can we have received the Holy Spirit then? So that's a bright red lie. That's the case. Let's read with one voice. First Corinthians three sixteen. Do you not know that you are a temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? Amen. So here it says. So it says it very speaks very broadly here. It says, do you not that you are a temple of God? It says, do you not know that you are a temple of God? Do you not know that God is in you? Do you not know that the Spirit of God dwells in you? So people, our body and our flesh, and it's combining all of that in our heart, but more specifically, 1 Corinthians one twenty one, God gives the Holy Spirit into our hearts, more specifically, if you say Amen. So here it says, my body and my mind and my flesh, my heart. Um, it speaks to 1 Corinthians 3.16. So it says he gives the Holy Spirit as a pledge into our heart. So we have to not have sins coming forth from our heart because light and darkness will not be together. So therefore, this brightness for it to come into our, this light to come inside of us, the sins that has come forth from inside of us, we have to cleanse it. That's how He can come inside of us. That's when He can come inside of us. That's why. If you want to receive the pledge into our heart that He gives the Holy Spirit, we have to cleanse the sins that's come forth from our heart and do away with it. So let's cleanse the sins coming out of our heart. Matthew 15, 19. Let's look that up. So if that's the case, then each of you, so even if it's our, myself, so today, surely, if you want to receive answers to prayers and a feeling of sickness and disease and receive all the blessings on earth, then change our personalities, improve our personality, and those the demons that's casting, that's giving problematic in our family, that we cast away, somebody who has a depressed personality, they say this and that, they're saying things out of their mind, it's quite pitiful. So the patient who is, has despair and a depression, they're saying this and that about the patient who, is depression, who has depression, you and I can tell. It's not the fact that we know that, but why did that happen? How can we be healed? That's the answer. That's the issue and that's the answer. But people have depression and people have different sort of conditions. They put all sorts of title to it, a name to it. To it. The fact that God has done it, they don't realize God has made that. Though. God gives the demons, puts the demons inside and He has done that. That's First Samuel 6, 14. If you sin according to that sin, he will put the demons inside of us according to our sin. People don't realize that God puts demons inside of us. That's why. Can you have healing of patience to the demons just because you give medicine? Does it work out? So which hospital, which which pharmaceutical company makes um, makes a makes a medicine that gives to demons and makes it depart? 
There's no place where they're testing with demons. They don't even know about this. So they just think it's for people. So Ecclesiastes 3.18, well, 3.18, it says, inside of you, you who have demon inside, and the animal that's inside, you're the same. Why? Because you, those who don't have the spirit, they're a perishing beast. So the spirit's, the spirit's not alive. That's why dogs and pigs, they, they test on... That's why people don't eat animals or cows with mad cow disease or chicken because they're the same as us. It'll come to us. Ecclesiastes 3, 18, it's God's promise and, and it's recorded. So if you don't receive the Holy Spirit, then there's none that's a proper, upright person. So why do you, is it that God gave us problems for us to be an upright person through that problem that we would be an upright person? So how can we, how thankful can we, should we be about that? Which religion can talk about this and teaching about the Word of God accurately? There isn't. Each of you right now, God's words, it's such an amen, so detailed and for specific. And as long as there's dirty things coming out of our heart, He cannot give the Holy Spirit as a pledge to us. He won't give it to us. So cleansing this out is the mystery of Christ's force of repentance, cleansing that out. That's how we can receive that pledge of the Holy Spirit in our heart. Only God uses only those who are clean. That's uh, 2 Timothy 2, 20 to 21. So we have to confess the sins coming out of our heart. How do we cleanse it? Through the blood of Christ. God says for us to cleanse it through the blood of Christ. What about the blood of Jesus? The blood of Jesus is on the side of God. Reconciles Jesus on the side of God. Christ is on the side of me. The shoes is at the you know to, to put bottom of our foot and gloves to our hands. We, we can't th throw it around. We can't put the shoes and uh, our socks on our feet going around. That's they're out of their mind. We can't put the gloves on their feet. No, God's words. Man, we can switch things around. God's words, we can't. People go around the church not even knowing that. They don't know who they uh, have rec make peace with and who reconciled with. They're, they're fakes if they don't even know that. 100% they'll be hellward bound. And yet people are not even knowing that. Why is it that you don't have healing of your sickness? Why is it your problems are not resolved? If you, if, if it's made a right, then it will be resolved. If it's opposite and backwards, it won't be made a right. There's dirty sins coming out of our heart. We have that coming. Then God cannot give the Holy Spirit as a as a uh, pledge to us. So, so, Lord, I am this kind of sinner. When we see this, realize this. Let's read with one voice. Matthew 15, 19. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, theft, thefts, false witness, slanders. Amen. So, what's the first sin that's coming forth from your heart, from our heart? It's evil thoughts. It's root of all sorts of evil. If, if we have this evil, then faith that we have will depart. First Timothy 6.10. That's why people, the fake Christians, they say, if you believe once, you'll go to heaven. If that's the case, why is there so many pages in the Bible? So, God Almighty, He has abbreviated it still so long. So, if you believe once, that's over, and we just need one page for that. But is that those who deny the Lord, their name is not in the book of life. 100% they'll be held and bound. The, the, those who say that you believe once you'll go to heaven forever, they have, they'll be held and bound. That's right. God gives us the pledge as the Holy Spirit. He'll give it to us, but in our heart. We have sins flowing out where we've kind of become an enemy of God. God has recorded it that it will come out. So it will come out. Sins will flow out. Even the first sin that comes forth, evil thoughts, for out of heart, evil thoughts. First Timothy 6.10, will, the faith will depart even from this first sin. God says the faith will depart. So who can lie and say it won't depart uh, from faith? With evil, forth comes, evil thoughts come forth. That's why you and I, through the blood of Christ, uh, forced of repentance, we have continued to sin, repent the sins coming forth from our heart. God says to pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians 5, 17, he tells us that in Psalms 55, verse 17, he says, three times a day, you should repent and cleanse your heart. Cry out and repent, pray and repent. Three times a day, the sins coming forth from our heart, the sins that are not wanting to keep God in our heart, and sins coming forth from our flesh, when we cleanse that, one-fourth, when we do that, one-fourth, 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 if we do according to that, it's the answer of us. So there's hardly anything to do but repent all day and pray all day. Try that. So what happens when you say, Amen, you, you have sealing, healing of sickness, material blessings, and wisdom and knowledge will come. So all these things that have been prepared for you, aha, that Amen, that it will be, become yours. Receive this and do well today, this evening. Miracles will happen. These words are alive. These words are alive. These words are alive and will do its works. You see. 
receive it all. Receive it all. In the small sanctuary, receive it all before you leave. God's words, there's no lies to it. Hebrews 4.12, it even splits the bones and the marrows. So it's an incredible promise. You're, it's an incredible promise. Musu Park, you know, went to a revival. All sorts of people saw heaven and all that. It's not me. But if God, if we do according to the word of God, God, he does his miracles. If we just do according to the word of God, I share the testimony to you is what? That this flesh, my flesh, and I'm weaker when I do that. Realize, listen to the word and realizing sins, one fourth, we do that, but one fourth of asking God for forgiveness and asking for, I'm not able to do all of it. So after we hear these words, if we repent two hours, then miracles will happen if we repent. But I'm, if I guide that, but I'm not being able to do that these days. But each of you, you should follow according to the word of God. Then your problems will be resolved. God, He resolves the problems for us through the Holy Spirit. He makes us cast out our demons and the demon departs. Luke 4.35, it, it leaves with sickness and disease and our problems. For everybody, it will work out. We're here to receive that blessing. So. We all have to receive these blessings. We must receive these blessings. God is such a wonderful God. According to the Word of God, it, the Word of God will do its works and miracles even now. Let's read with one voice. First, Timothy 6.10. For the love of money is a root of all sorts of evil, and some, for, some by longing for it have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Amen. So therefore, if faith departs and uh, evil comes forth, all sorts of evil comes forth, you, have, and it, you get changed into worries and anxieties. When you have worries and anxieties, the, your faith has departed. You don't have it anymore. If you have worries and anxieties, who kills who? You kill yourself. You become, that's a really useless person. You kill yourself. They're out of their mind. How can you treat them as an upright person, someone who's killing themselves? When you don't repent, the sins coming forth from our heart inside of you, you're killing yourself. Not only are you killing yourself, Exodus 34, verse 7, your children to the third and fourth generation, you're doing the deeds that's destroying and killing them. So that's not an upright, that's not a proper person. How can you call them so noble and be an upright person? Just, they're ruining themselves and piercing their own life and ruining their own life. Not only that, they're descendants to the third and fourth generation, they're ruining for them. They're harming others. So there's a the husband and wife. Then, so they, they have really dirty and bad relationship with husband and wife because they're really bad people. So they're worse than the animal that they're rearing at home. Our ancestors, they knew something. They said, oh, they're worse than dogs. Our ancestors knew that. And who's worse than dogs? Is it me or others? They don't know that. They swear that others realize that they, it's them. Our ancestors are the ones that have done the, these kind of deeds. They said, oh, someone's worse than dogs. Who is that? It's me who have not repented, we're worse than dogs. In our heart, he gives us to us as a pledge, but the dirty things coming forth from our heart, how can he give us the Holy Spirit as a pledge? So we have to cleanse it to say amen. So if you have cleansed what's coming forth from your heart, what, why does he not give to us? He does? Because, but, you know, uh, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit where God will be, but not 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Your body, not just your heart, the Holy Spirit that comes to us as a pledge. We all have to, our heart and our body has to be cleansed so for, and clean. So for us to use our body as a holy, a holy temple, as a temple of the Holy Spirit, as long as we have sins or flesh unrepented, the Holy Spirit will depart. So the sins coming forth from our heart, uh, from our flesh, we have to re repent that. God has pointed this out to us. First Corinthians six nineteen. So not just the heart, but the holy, the body has to be cleansed of the Holy Spirit. Now the deeds of the, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, who, whom you have from God and that you are not your own? Our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, a temple, but of the Holy Spirit. So he gives us the uh, Holy Spirit as a seal into our heart, a pledge into our heart. We have to be cleansed to do that. So he gives it to us. But if our flesh is dirty, then he will depart. So this flesh, so we have to be used as a righteous, uh, a righteous servant uh, of the Holy Spirit. But if that doesn't happen, but the Holy Spirit goes to all the different places with he gives the Holy Spirit as a pledge into our heart, but our flesh has to be cleansed. We have to rule over it. 
But he has to use the whole body as a servant of the righteous, as a righteous servant. We, we don't repent the sins coming forth from our flesh. How can we expect to for him to come inside of us and be, have us be a temple of the Holy Spirit? So he points out to us the sins coming out of our flesh. Galatians 5:19. Galatians 5:19. Let's repent that. Or let's read that. So therefore, the sins coming forth from our heart and the sins coming out of our flesh, God points it out to us. If you don't repent that, how can you expect to go to heaven? And how can is it that you, you expect your problems to be resolved? The Holy Spirit has to come. So even our flesh, He has to use it as a temple. So the Holy Spirit has to come for us to see God and call Him Abba, Father. That's when we're qualified to do that. Galatians, that's in Galatians chapter 4. Galatians chapter 4. What verse is it? It's verse 6, not 5. So therefore, Galatians chapter 6, verse 4. Uh, excuse me, Galatians chapter 4, verse 6. The Holy Spirit has to come for us to be qualified to call Him Abba Father. But those who have not even received the Holy Spirit, they call Him Abba Father. That's a lie. Look how they're so telling lies. Galatians 5, 19 to 21. The sins coming forth from our flesh. We have, to, we have to cleanse it all through the blood of Christ. We have to be cleansed. We have to be clean. So, you know, when we put the, the portion of uh, the, the place, the bath, for kim, making kimchi after we eat it, and you put water there, it, it still smells like kimchi. You have to continue to rinse it out with water. That's later on. The, the, kim, the smell of kimchi is gone. And then you can put something else on. But if you, if you don't even wash it out, and then it'll smell like kimchi the, in the vessel. So the sins coming forth from our flesh, we have to cleanse it out. So before the Lord, Lord, through the blood of Christ, but we, with the heart of asking for forgiveness, let's confess with the heart of confession. Now the deeds of the flesh are evident, which are immorality, impurity, sensuality. This is Galatians 5.19. Idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these, for which I forewarn you, just as I have forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. The sins coming forth from our flesh, if, we, if it's just left unrepented, and we have to have that sin, surely there, First John 3, 18, the demon attaches itself where there are sins unrepentant. Those who have demons who have attached itself, they don't receive blessings. Whenever we have sins, the demon attaches itself. When the, there's sin, when, if you just have sin, the Holy Spirit departs and demons attach itself. That's Matthew 12, 45. So therefore, the sins coming forth from our flesh, we have that. If we don't repent those, however, and we say we receive the Holy Spirit, we say that, that kind of lie, where did we learn that? So they're denying the whole whole Bible, if that's the case, if that's how they think and say. First John, John, John 14, 6, God, Jesus said he's the way. But there's nobody that's pointing the way. John 14, 6, which religion points the way, the path? God, because God has made that. Only God can resolve that. Only God made that. God gives the Holy Spirit to resolve the problem. We talk about the Holy Spirit, and yet you don't know how the Holy Spirit comes inside of you, and He gives it to us as a pledge. People don't know that. And yet, how can you call that a church if they don't even know that? that that's all telling lies to each of you. When do you cast out the de demon inside of you without the Holy Spirit? You can't cast out the demons. When does He give us the Holy Spirit? We have to not have sin. We have to, have, we have, through God's mystery, we have to do forced repentance for it to give to us. And does He give to us just with that? Even our flesh has to, our flesh has to be cleansed. Galatians 4, 6, that's when we can be qualified to call Him Abba Father. When we call Him Abba Father, that's when He gives us answers to prayers. Galatians 4, 6, let's read with one voice. Because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Amen. Each of you, why is it that right now we call Him Abba, Father, but we don't have the answer to that? Because we have not received the Holy Spirit. The person that has received the Holy Spirit, when they cry out to Him, then a Father will say, why did you call? I know what you need. Matthew 6, 8, I, now I know. What has prepared is there. When you need it, it's, you know, in the fridge. Eat it. Take it to you. This hour, I have faith that you'll receive answers to prayers, that your wishes will be fulfilled, your problems will be resolved. All of it will be resolved. All your problems, whatever it is, everything will work out. Let's all receive these blessings. We all have to receive these blessings. Each of you, where? 
if it's not for the Word of God? Where would you be pointed out this path, this way, inside of me? My, I may not want to have done that, but why is it? You know, people take a customer and become a thief and, uh, and take things from outside of people's pockets, uh, purses, you know, because they have the demon inside them that wants to be a thief, then you can't do what you want, even though you have money, and yet you still steal from others. What is that? Once a month, you're going that path, you may say. Where, where are you saying, the, where you're listening to words of demons? The sins coming forth from our hearts, the sins coming forth from our flesh. Those where there is sins, the demon attaches itself. And those when there's so many sins and the demon attaches itself, that it's obvious, that, you know, the, the words that says eight demon goes in. It's, it's very uh, un obvious. Matthew 12, 45. After you become, you become worse as a Christian later than when you were a lay person. Matthew twelve forty five. If you don't have the Holy Spirit and dwell in you, and then the demon will be there and it'll exist there. If you want to receive the Holy Spirit as a pledge, you have to be cleansed. Without to enforce repentance, he'll depart again. So therefore, you and I, what must we do is to force that repentance. God, that's right. That's why. Do not sin of repenting. Do, do not commit the sins of stopping to pray. Pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians 5.17. So that means to always be with, be a person that God is always with you and receive the best blessing by always praying. What kind of bless, uh, sins do you have? This evening, the sins coming forth from our heart. When we read that, um, probably the demon has said, oh, no, no, because of sin, I have attached myself to you. When you cleanse that through the blood of Christ, then I have no place to attach myself to you. And I have faith that that demon will be, have departed. Your problem will be resolved. You'll, you'll have departed as well. We all have departed as well. We all have to receive this blessing in the small sanctuary as well. You have to receive. You have to all receive this blessing that God gives. Because demons and sins attach itself. First John chapter three verse eight. Demons and sin attach itself. When you cleanse these sins through the blood of Christ, the demons has no place for it to rest or hold, take a hold of. So then you become cleansed, and when it's clean, the Holy Spirit comes in. Darkness is gone. There's only the light that comes in. Then you're, people say, Korea is in darkness. Where is there a way for us to change that to light? A light. The light. It's not just talking about our religion. Other religions, they talk about the light as well. But that light, how, how does it become? How do you become light? How is it that you become light? The light. This, the mystery of Christ is the light. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Let's look that up. When you do force the repentance, therefore, so the sins are gone, the darkness is gone, then Christ comes into our heart. Through Christ, we receive faith as a gift. So here is where we can change into the light, as it changes into light, when even our flesh is cleansed, then the Holy Spirit will come inside of us. You say, Amen. When the Holy Spirit comes inside, our heart, our flesh, it becomes it's become cleansed, and the light is bright. And, and this is the life that is the godly life. And, the, and the, so First Peter uh, 1, 15, be godly as I'm godly. Be holy as I'm holy. So then people don't talk about godliness without knowing it's a lie. It's very unfortunate. It's a, I think it's, it's godly or holy, excuse me. Other religions, they talk, they, they talk uh, boldly about being the light. There's many religions that talk about light. But how do they become the light? It's only through the mystery of Christ. So 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, this light, Christ is the light. It's the light of the gospel. How? Giving glory to, to, to Him. What's giving glory to Him? Us going to heaven, that is, and helping others go to heaven, that is. So not harming others, but giving benefit to others. That's giving glory to Him. So here today, the fake Christians, there's so many... The people believe in the fake Christians. They don't give benefit to others. You know, if it's not their own faction, they, they don't deal with you. It's, and they talk about, it's, that's not a living a life of faith. They're an organization that's gathered together, in the, supposedly in the name of Christ. But, the, but those who don't give glory to Him, 100%, they're Howard bound. This gospel, this uh, light of the gospel, is true through Christ. It's, People don't know Christ, and how can they give glory to God? How can they give glory? We don't make glory. We have to receive it from God. Through what? Through Christ we receive it from God. So that's 2 Thessalonians 2.14. So therefore, so 
you know, they go around. Their word is not consistent with the word with the Bible, and yet they say they're going to heaven. Let's see. Even when you're on earth, your life, the fruit of your life, it's, uh, you can see that it's Howard bad. That's why Ephesians 5, 11, you're all in darkness. There's only darkness for you. So the light doesn't like Christ because you're a wicked and evil person. John 3, 20, it's like that. It's exactly according to that. Let's come live life coming to our senses, be on the alert. Let's read with one voice like Corinthians 4, 4. In whose case the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelieving so that they might not see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Amen. So this Christ is the light of the gospel. It's the light of the gospel. It's the light of the gospel, gospel giving glory to God. It's the image of God. So without four step repentance, there's no way for us to find his image. And yet people don't realize this. And they're going around doing foolish things. They have demon inside, they put demon inside. They, then your, your mind is already double-minded. When you have demon inside, you're, you're already double-minded. So how can they be one-hearted? So that's why the church is not one-hearted. There's always arguments. And when there's argument, it's an organization that's held with found. It's what God has determined. And yet said, be wary of this. Be careful of this. Second Corinthians 2 Corinthians 2.14, 2 Timothy 2.14. Yet people, they're arguing. Let's live life properly. The problem that, that you brought here, this problem is me, uh, to, for me to be a child of God, for me to be changed into the light and to shed the light on others. That's why God gave us problems. Huh? And we have to cleanse through the blood of Christ and find the image of God. It will be made a light that will do well and help others to do well as well. And he, our feeling all of all sickness and disease and the demons being departed and the Holy Spirit will come. That surely you'll do well. Each of you do well. This is God's will for us, for us to do well. We all have to receive these blessings in this whole world through the mystery of Christ that helps save Korea and the world that we'll all have to become united as one in Christ, that we'll be united as one in Christ. I hope that you all receive these blessings. Each of you today, you will resolve these problems. Your, your sickness will be healed. Your problems will be turned into answers. Your heart will be single-hearted. And with one heart, one word, then husband and wife will become unified as one. Children will be filial children. Each of you, the problem with youths and all the all the problems with families, people talk about all sorts of things, but when the parents are double-minded, how can you say anything? What can you say? When the parents are double-minded, it's destroying the children. Proverbs 19, 13. So and yet, people talk about, let's do away with violence at school and improve society. That's so pompous. And yet, they talk about Father's uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Father's Month. They talk about Parents' Month and Parents' Day. They're, de they're destroying the children. And yet, they're the ones. They're like bees. How good? Why do they think they're so good that they can celebrate Mother's Day, Father's Day? That's quite pitiful. The teachers. So even between husband and wife, things aren't working out for their own household. How can they tell other children, talk about Teacher's Day? And it's, aren't you ashamed? It's like a beast. People are so pompous. It's like a strong lion that's pompous. Like a strong tiger, what is that? It's just still the level of a beast. According to the Word of God, let's live according to the Word of God, our country. Let's put our country on top of the Word of God, starting from me, when we resolve our problems, our family. Our, when our family is made alive, our children will be made alive. When our children is made alive, our country will be made alive. Well, this path is, Jesus himself has said, that you have to go this path and help save this country. You and I, we all have to be made alive as well. I want us to be made alive. The sins coming forth from our heart and from our flesh through the blood of Christ. Let's cleanse it and we, uh, find our proper image and be the light. And let's be changed into the light, you and I. The darkness in your family will depart. Your problems, the darkness of your, of your sickness and your economic problems will depart. And the darkness of countries will depart. Let's all receive this. Let's all receive this. Oh, Lord. Help us to be your son, your children, and help us receive the Holy Spirit as a pledge that everything will work out for all. Let's all cry out to the Lord three times and pray. Let us begin. Lord, 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 Father, Father God, thank you, Lord. This evening, help us to receive the Holy Spirit as a pledge into our heart. 
And let us repent the sins coming forth from our heart and from our flesh. Let us find resolution to our problems. Those who are sick, let them find resolution to them. Those with problems, let them find resolution to their problems. Those who are sick, let them find resolution. Let them be healed. The darkness in our family, the, the problems in our family, let us find resolution to all of that. Let us, please, let us find resolution to all of that, Father God. Help us to cleanse our sins, Lord. Help us to have realization and help us to be made complete in our actions that we made right as uh, be made as righteous uh, servants of yours father god my flesh my body and my flesh uh, make us makes us an enemy with you lord god help, lord, we're an enemy with you through our flesh let us cleanse us through the blood of christ help us to be made clean and cleanse to cleanse the sins that i did not know help me to realize through this, uh, discover those sins and go through them i promise lord please Lord, this evening, the sins even th that I don't know, let us find us and receive forgiveness of that. Lord, 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 Father God, am I the problem? Am I the problem? In my heart, the sins coming forth is the problem. The sins coming forth from my flesh is, is the problem. If I still don't realize this, the sins coming forth from my heart, not from my flesh. Oh Lord, please, uh, Lord, thank you. The sins of immorality, these dirty sins of morality is coming forth from my flesh. This, uh, this wrongdoings of me judging others through the sins of immorality of me, Lord, please forgive me. Oh, Lord, thank you. Lord, this evening, listen, help us to find resolution. Uh, receive answers to prayers, miracles happening that will have uh, forgiveness of our sins even more strongly. Let us confess that this is that my flesh is my enemy. My own thoughts is my enemy. My own my own logic, my own thoughts, Lord. Oh Lord, thank you. Oh Lord, thank you. Oh Lord, thank you. Have have you loved me, Lord? You ask me. Do you love me, Lord? You ask. Oh Lord, Father God. Please forgive me that I have not loved you. Father God, said, the sins coming forth from my flesh 24 hours, and the sins coming forth from our, my heart. Lord, this evening, help us to cleanse it all. Help us to cleanse it all. Help us receive the Holy Spirit as a pledge. Let the demons depart. Let the darkness depart. Because the, help us to restore the image of God in, in us. Lord, Lord, help us to restore our image. Lord, Lord, even more strongly, do your works 